Well, good morning, friends. Good morning, saints. Thank you for joining me on this walk down to the river. By the way, if uh, you haven't done this yet, I don't think I've ever mentioned this before, but there is a subscribe button right there on YouTube. And at the very end of this video, uh, that option's gonna pop up again as well. You can just click on the church logo and uh, you can subscribe to these videos. And that way, whenever there is one issued, another one that's come out on the walk to the river, you will be able to be notified on your computer. So, uh, usually I do this Monday to Thursday, but uh, some odd weeks, something happens and uh, something else gets in the way and uh, it doesn't happen, or I might do the odd one on a Friday, Saturday. And so, uh, yeah. It'll just, it'll keep you up to date. That's what I'm saying. So if you hit the subscribe button, you will be able to uh, follow these along. And you'll also be notified for our Sunday videos because uh, that's not the walk to the river, but that's our service. But Sunday service videos will be online as well and you'll be notified about that because it's the same channel. So yeah, you can do that. And if you like it, it'll help. Uh, the more likes this gets, the more, um, YouTube will push it, right? Because they want to push material that's being liked by people. So the more likes these videos get, the more YouTube will push it for us. So they promote it, which is great because then people who, you know, happen to Google uh, or on YouTube search, if they searched anything about a river, if they're fishing or boating or whatever, it might pop up for them. Um, especially if they've been looking at anything about walking or hiking and all of a sudden walk to the river might pop up. So it'll be a good way to promote it and push this a little further. So like and subscribe. It helps other people see this and it helps you get notified. All right. I'm not too worried about the numbers because I'm not doing this for, uh, obviously not getting paid for this and uh, not looking for any of that. So uh, that's not the reason behind it, but it does help promote it for possibility other people seeing it. And so uh, that's a good thing. Okay. Let's get into the word, Isaiah chapter 37. Um, this is uh, a, uh, I love the way, the reason, let me put it this way, the motive behind this prayer. So this is uh, in the days of uh, Sennacherib and uh, I think Hezekiah and whatever. And here's the prayer of the people. Verse uh, 20, so Isaiah 37, verse 20. I hope you can see that. Uh, let me see, which way do I need to go here? I don't know if you can read it. I'll read it out. Now, Lord our God, so we're praying here, right? We're talking to God. Deliver us from his hand, that is from the, the evil one, from the king who is uh, attacking Israel, so that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you, Lord, are the only God. Don't you love that prayer? Lord, deliver us from his hand so that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you, Lord, are the only God. Friends, this is something that's hit me recently really strongly um, in praying for people, praying with people, praying over situations. Um, our list is, uh, you know, our prayer request list is active. People are, are sending in requests and praise reports and we're passing them on to to those who have uh, indicated that they'll be faithful to pray. And uh, it's hit me really hard, like strongly in the last little while, that uh, in every situation, whether you're praying for provision, whether you're praying for healing, whether you're praying for direction, whether you're praying for uh, peace or comfort or you know the restoration of relationships, uh, whatever it is, we often, we often pray because we're looking for our own comfort. We're looking for our own um, satisfaction, if you want to say, in a, in a situation. But friends, how much more important is it? that everybody who is involved in that situation that we're praying for, that they would know 
that our God is the only God. I think this Isaiah 37 prayer here challenges me anyways to make all of my requests not for my own comfort or my own satisfaction or my own whatever but that every request be motivated by God would you provide God would you heal God would you restore God would you do whatever it is that needs to be done so that you would receive the glory so that the people involved whether it's the doctor that's going to be inspecting whether it's uh, you know the, the clerk at the store whether it's uh, you know people in my family my kids whatever God whatever it is that's going on would you be glorified would people come to know that you are the only God that's what I want oh God in this situation I want people to know that you are the only God that's how we ought to pray all right so it's not about us feeling better it's not about us hurting less it's not about our comfort it's not about uh, you know us having our needs met it is so that our God the father of all creation that our God would be glorified and people would come to know that he is the only God. Can we do that? Let's pray that way. All right. Less distraction. I'm going to pray. Father, we love you. and We love being in relationship with you. And we ask right now, oh God, that in this day, everything that happens, those around us might know that you are the one and only God. That all of our attention, all of our purpose, all of our motivation, oh God, would be that they might know that you are the one true God. Let it be according to your will and according to your word today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you. God bless you. Goodbye, Mr. and oh, Mrs. and Mrs. Ducky. There's two female ducks here. Goodbye.